Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to do image classification or you can say even labeling in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a new project. Empty. Ta -ta -ta. Image classification app. You can name it anything and yeah, this sort of things I'll leave it as it is. Just click on finish. Wait for my environment to load. In the meantime, I'll just show quickly a couple of things. Uh, one is like I've already uh, got two images. One is flower and the other one is finger. Uh, yeah, I have got it. I will use these two images in my code to detect uh, or see what kind of classification or labeling is done by the uh, by our program. And second thing is we'll heavily use the computer vision uh, uh, libraries from the uh, from the Google, uh, from the, uh, uh, yeah, what Google provides. And they have given a nice steps here to implement. So I'll mostly follow these steps only. This, they provide steps for both for Android and iOS. I'll focus mostly on uh, Android only in this uh, tutorial. But yeah, all the steps are here. And, but I will just consolidate it in a, in my code and show you how easy it is. So they have given steps for before you begin, then get started. Uh, where they've shown how you can configure and all and how you can import. So yeah, we'll be using this particular uh, library in our uh, Gradle file. So I can just copy this, go back to my Android environment. I think uh, Android, uh, yeah, my app has come up. I'll also start my emulator in parallel on the right hand side. Let it come up uh, because sometimes it takes a while. I'll go to my Gradle uh, environment and over here, I'll just quickly implement or yeah this particular label but i think this is not the latest one as far as i know yeah so it has become a bit yellow if you press alt enter over here it will say you the uh, latest version which is 17.0.7 yeah uh, sync now it may take a while for it to sync but yeah uh, nevertheless uh, and also what we can do is we can create an assets folder to get our uh, images into the into the environment so i'll go to the projects and then probably over here in the apps uh, under the app uh, just expand this source and this over here in the main just click here and then and then go to this directory and over here just type assets so you will get the uh, assets as an option just double click over here and it will create an assets folder over here so now what you can do is you can go back to your uh, images what you have copied just do a probably or I can do a copy quickly from top come back here and do a paste and it may ask you to the directory just click ok and if you expand it you will see both the images have come over here and we will be using these two images in our code perfect. Uh, now I think uh, I can just minimize this part as well for the time being and uh, and then we'll quickly switch to the uh, XML. Uh, we'll design our layout. Okay, for some reason I was expecting my emulator to come up till now. I don't know why it's taking so long. What I'll do is I'll just kill this process. I'll probably kill the emulator and uh, probably restart in some other uh, version. Let me see if it comes up. So I say something is starting AVD, which is Android virtual device. Anyway, let it do in parallel in the right hand side. Uh, uh, yeah. We'll also put our uh, layout in the meantime. I'm not sure it has gone a bit slow, probably too much of work happening in parallel. Yeah, and I can put it. Okay, I think for a moment, I think I saw one other application, but that was, I think, from my previous uh, session. Anyway, I'll just minimize this. So we don't need a emulator for a time being, and I'll focus on my design part over here. And I can name this as label image this button you can name it anything it does not matter and i'll give some constraints over here and perfect and also i'll put one uh, image view yeah and so that to display the image i can use this uh, anything it doesn't matter as a background yeah and uh, yeah perfect so we can use this to display our image for like Put a bit up, this one also up, and I can also expand my 
x view a bit down here so this way we will print our output and i can give this a nice id which we can use to refer in our uh, java code and i have given constraints to my image view which is which has the id of image view i think that's all more or less from the design part uh, from my layout part i quickly create a public method public void and this method name could be button uh, image level you can name this method anything again it does not matter and yeah so once we have this method i'll go back to my layout and to this button i will assign this uh, on click attribute to this particular method so that whenever this button is pressed or clicked this goes to this java code over here perfect now what i will do is further i will just create no not public i will create private class variables so one could be for text view text view and the other one could be called the private image view so image view perfect and in the own create method i will assign them to the light widget using find view by id r dot id dot text view and the other one could be image view find view by id r dot id dot image view perfect yeah i think this later if we rebuild it will go away it should go away nevertheless uh yeah now we can do our main part of the code over here and uh, i think uh, yeah it's rebuilding the errors are gone our things looks good yeah i'll minimize this again uh, we don't need it uh, as of now and i'll start the main method over here so in the main method i think first and foremost we have to import or uh, these two or any one of these images at least so what we can do is we can use a, a method called input stream input stream and this could be get assets perfect and then we can use something like uh, yeah open and over here i can give the file name so probably let's start with the flower first flower.jpg and i can i of course will switch back and forth to the both and it gives some kind of error let me see if i press alt enter so it says either i can add exceptions to the method itself or i can go ahead with try case i think i'll go for the first option which adds the exception in the method itself yeah that could be an easier approach over here now once we have this input stream then i will create my bitmap uh, of image and this i can uh, do is i can use something called bitmap factory dot uh, i think there should be an option decode stream yeah this was the option i was looking for and the input will be the input stream which we have just on the top uh, yeah just previously defined now once we have it then what we can do is we can first and foremost set this bitmap to uh, image view and that could be bitmap image so that we can see what image at least is we are using in our code now i can proceed further and this is where we will be using the uh, some of the methods of this uh, library but we have implemented this google uh, matlab kit ml kit image uh, okay over here Perfect. So if I proceed, so what I will I will need is image lab labeler. Yeah, this one and perfect. And we can use something called image labeling dot get client. Yeah, and over here we can use something like image. Labeler options not the base i think still options and then default options yeah this we can go for uh, the default options and if i scroll for i mean if i move further what we can do is we can create something called input image input image input image perfect and input image dot from bitmap and the first one will be bitmap and the second one is the rotation basically so rotation is zero degrees so if you want to realign reorient your image then you can use the rotation
application otherwise you can just give zero over here nevertheless i'll proceed and then we can use our image labeler uh, dot yeah we'll be processing now and we can use the image so input image probably over here it will come yeah and once we have it then we can add some kind of listener success listener on success listener and this should have on success listener and this will give you a method on success whatever you want to do at this first place by putting a semicolon here yeah i know when when we have a success of this process then we can what we can do is we can use that to populate our text view to the labels which is identified so what we can do is first we can create a empty string probably string dot labels or yeah and this could be empty string and then in a for loop uh, one by one we can read the labels whatever we get uh, we get here image labels so what we will do is we will read the image label in one by one this for loop image label and we'll be using image labels for that and then in this for loop we can populate this uh, or probably instead of string labels what we can do is it's basically image recognition right so we can put this what is the image recognized so image recognition and we can use this over here no 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 string image recognition and this will be uh plus plus i mean um, basically and uh, okay before that uh, i think what we'll have to do is we can use this image label to identify a few things first let me quickly create a string label out of this image label dot get text uh, over here and the other one could be float float uh, probably confidence level which is like how much confident it is that this whatever level they are identifying that's the correct one so that get confidence here perfect so once we have it then we can use these things over here so what we can do is string label uh, probably plus uh, float confidence dot two string and um, yeah that's Probably what we can do is we can put some kind of ending like yeah and so perfect. I think that's all. I will try to read on it and first figure image what we have given is flower. So let's see how it comes up. And uh, yeah, if I click this, perfect. Oh, uh, image came but nothing on the text view came and I think the reason for that is uh, of course we are forming the string here but we are not printing it uh, in the text view so what we can do over here is text view set text and string image recognition now let me read on it quickly and see how it comes up and if I click perfect now if you can see I can probably zoom in a bit and show you over here so it says petal is 0.9, it's confident it's 0.9 and flower is 0.98. So this is the confidence level. It's a plant also it's trying to recognize, I don't know, for some reason it says it could be an insect as well. I think because of this dark portions in the middle or something like that. So yeah, of course, it. I don't know why it says image 4. I think that's because in the, the over here if, uh, button, if I go here, I think I don't know why I am four. I think this yeah, correct it. Anyway, coming back to Java code. So for flower we have done. Uh, I'll use the other one. I think the other one was finger uh, over here. And if I read on the code for finger .jpg, okay, I can zoom out for the time being. And if I click here, it comes finger. And yeah, okay, let me zoom in again to show what is. So it's identifying it as a skin uh, up to confidence level of 0.97 and hand is 0.97 nail also okay so if you can see we the nail of the thumb is being exposed and then flesh and eyelash and blah blah i don't know why eyelash there is no eye but yeah whatever so of course in this uh, code we are heavily relying on the on the 
this particular library uh, google ml kit image labeling library uh, to do our process over here so that's all in this video i wanted to show you it's so easy uh, yeah you have to just know the uh, basic apis and like dependencies to do that yeah i'll post all these details on my website and on the description below as well yeah and i hope if you have enjoyed this uh, video if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day bye